So, ever since I could remember, I've always felt that my duty in life was to help others. Although now I've condensed that energy into a great passion for medicine, my ethnic plight has also dealt a large impact on my motivation to change. Hi, I'm Tonio Alarcon Borges, and I'm an 18-year-old from Egan, Minnesota. Born into the harsh winter of St. Paul and remaining there further on, my Mexican family developed resistance and knowledge of the usual cold. However, the process of acclim acclimating was far harsher for, for a family friend of mine. Recently, gang violence led to her home and belongings being forcibly taken from her, pushing her away from Mexico and bringing her and her young daughter into refugee status. With barely any clothes on their backs, coming into a completely different country and a completely different climate, the Minnesota winter wasn't all it used to be. The possibility of hypothermia and frostbite was higher than it used to be. Uh, not only was shelter and food the basis of survival, but avoiding freezing to death. She didn't feel comfortable at a shelter because she did not want to be part of an ICE raid and possibly getting her daughter into a detention center. The push of refugees and immigrants are affected by climate change and can we blame them? If your only form of financial stability of farming like my grandfather were to be eradicated by irregular rain patterns of droughts and floods, would you take action? Knowing that the future of blue crab, blue crab fishing again in Veracruz, risk eating oil polluted food and drinking BP polluted water, had me realize that, my, that the very culture, the heritage I'm entirely proud of, which I grew up in, might seem like a faraway dream for my children and theirs. I drive myself to help others. We're taught ever since we were toddlers to be empathetic. I'm not the average suburban kid that only cares about whether hiking will look pretty again or if I have another canoeing weekend. I am part of the next generation taking action against change on behalf of those that can't receive support. For refugees like friends, of my, friends so close to me, for individuals facing financial hardships like my family, and the other kids just like me who feel like they're alone because of their own age. I am part of the growing climate movement that's here to stay. And I call on all others to either join our purpose or watch the change we create because we're not stopping. Woo!